basically have nothing to say, so. <laughs> it's awesome. It's really awesome. Um, it's just really nice that you're so passionate about the work. I do appreciate you with them. Thank you for, you know, running this place so well. And, um, with such, such sophistication and, um, um, you know, refinement. Because in my studio, it's nothing like this. I'm a scrappy guy with a scrappy studio with paint all over the floor, all over the walls. And you guys dress them up so nice, it's a, it's a privilege to show. I want to thank uh, the rest of the staff. There are too many to name, but they're not my models. They actually sell my work. They're beautiful. You guys are awesome. Um, I do appreciate all your guys' hard work. Um, and of course, you collectors. I mean, without you guys, there's no way I would be here. Without any of you guys, I wouldn't be here. So um, I, I have a deep gratitude to everybody here. You know, like James said, um, when I do my work, I'm very passionate. It's, it's such a privilege and an honor to be able to paint what I love and how I want to do it. And to have people come and, you know, see it is just, you know, icing on the cake. So, um, when you see the work, again, as James said, it's very sincere. It's very um, about the moment. It's, it's a reaction to the model. It's a reaction to all my life experience, to all the, the countless hours that I've spent doing, like, from realism work to impressionist to post-expressionism to... Surrealism, all that comes into a certain moment, like almost like when a gymnast does a, a, a disco. You know, you got that split second to nail it the way you want to do it. So when you look around, I mean, for better or worse, it's a it's a reflection on how I felt at the moment and what I want to see. I always paint what I want to see, or at least start off that way. And once I put that color on or that stroke on, it starts to have a dialogue with it. Because, um, for instance, this one. This one has a lot of vibrating colors. Like when you see in the skin, there's a lot of coolness, and then it's surrounded by this fiery red. And um, that's intrinsic in a lot of my work, where I put down, there's no way that there were these types of cool colors within the flesh, as, as intensely are right now. But when I put something down, it automatically tells me what to do next. So again, there's that dialogue between um, just the innocence of putting down paint like a child. And um, that's where I think it's the funnest. And, uh, again, it's just an extreme um, honor to be able to do that for a living. It just, I mean, I've been doing it over a decade with James and with Dan here, and it's just every show, every year, um, gets better and better, and uh, I, I, it still hasn't sunk in. I can't wrap my head around it, so it, it keeps me hungry. I always want to stay, you know, uh, anticipated for the next moment. That's why that I paint the way that I do. I never want to know exactly how it's going to turn out. It's so boring to me if I already know the whole story. Might as well just read the last page or you know <laughs> see the last scene of the movie. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, so when you see it, know that it's it's about sincerity. It's about the encouragement you guys get, give to me when you guys come to the show. It's about my life experience. And again, it's about my beautiful models that inspire me. and. Um, it's hard to encapsulate everything that my work's about, but just know that it comes from a, a, a strong, passionate place. And um, I'm glad you guys are here and enjoy it. Thank you. It's got that real intense red, and this is a, a very good example of when I put a color down, and then it tells me, you know, innately what to do. Um, I envisioned this with, a, you know, again, a, a preconception of that it was all going to be red, so much of these. And when I executed it, just I really wanted to make it, you know, really singe on the canvas. I wanted to have this type of uh, intensity, and I couldn't get that with so many harmonious color. So introducing that grayish, bluish background, and that was inspired um, from going to Monterey Bay. If anybody's been there and going <laughs> kayaking around, to that, there's this deep blue that I've never seen before, not even Hawaii or what have you. It just, it's just this deep blue that I was trying to get forever, and then when I got this painting, I thought this would be a perfect time to try to execute it. So again, when you, I really encourage for those who have just seen my work or have just been introduced to it, and don't know much about it, um, look at it from a distance for like the naturalism, for the, the simplicity of it. I'm really attracted to just things that you can immediately identify and be attracted to. But then when you get up close, you're going to see a lot of the, the color passages. And to me, that's where the, the true art lies because I could 
you know, these arms don't even match. I mean, if you think about not to downplay the technique, but they just, it's, it's silly. It's just like, it looks like so cartoonish, but then when you step back, you can see like the technique really yeah. comes together. And it's whimsical at one point, but then it's more sophisticated at a different point. So it has that dichotomy between being, you know, playful and exuberant and expressive, but then it still has that foundation of technique. And it took me a lot, of, a lot of years to figure this out. And so when people, everybody in this room, never tell me I was born with it. <laughs> because it was crazy amount of hours. I'm not talented innately, but I love it so much that I spent so many hours figuring out how to do it to this level. And I still got a lot to learn. I still got a lot to learn. So um, when you see this painting, I, I encourage you guys to come up and you'll see that, that intensity you know, from a, di a distance um, through the color contrast and then through the texture of the paint when you get up close, especially in the belly and arms. So. You guys all have your assignments, there's going to be a quiz at the end. <laughs> <laughs> again, thank you guys and please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. So just real quick, this is the newest release by Henry Asensio entitled Once Again Fire. This is number one of 195 in the edition, that's for international distribution. Please keep in mind that every single limited edition that Henry Asensio has ever created has either sold out or is currently in the process of selling out. And you should know too that many of his limited editions, especially this size, have sold at six, for six and eight thousand dollars in the secondary market as well as galleries internationally. So this is a great limited edition. I think that it's something that would grace any collection. And uh, the frame, we have a special. This is a nine hundred dollar frame. We currently have a special in the frame at this show for seven hundred dollars. And the fine art limited edition is valued at sixteen hundred dollars. That it's that's its pre-release price which means you're getting an opportunity to acquire it before we release it to the general public for $1,800 and $900 for the frame. So in essence, it's $1,600, seven is $2,300 as opposed to $2,700. So it's, 24, it's a $400 savings if you acquire it this, this evening. Okay? So thanks again, Alicia. Thank you.